A thousand years before Columbus ever dreamed of crossing the Atlantic, a secret journey may have already taken place. Not in textbooks, not in official history, but hidden deep in the code of life itself, buried in the bones of ancient tribes, scattered across the deserts of the American Southwest, and locked within the forgotten remains of prehistoric settlements in India. Scientists have found something extraordinary, a genetic signature, a whisper of connection between two worlds that were never meant to meet. How did strands of DNA from the Indian subcontinent end up in the bloodlines of Native American tribes? What forgotten voyages, lost peoples, or vanished civilizations could explain this? And could this change everything we thought we knew about the ancient world? This is not just a story about science. It's about identity, migration, and a mystery that defies geography. Tonight, we unravel a secret buried for thousands of years, a secret only ancient DNA could expose. Could India and the United States share an ancient past no one ever imagined? For centuries, the story of humanity's migrations followed familiar paths across land bridges, rivers, and empires. Textbooks taught us that Native Americans descended solely from Siberian populations that crossed the Bering Strait some 15,000 years ago. Meanwhile, the ancient civilizations of India, Harappans, Vedic tribes, and Dravidians developed in isolation, thousands of miles away. These were two separate worlds, divided by oceans, deserts, and time. Or so we believed. But in recent decades, a puzzle began to emerge. Anthropologists studying isolated Native American tribes noticed strange anomalies in cultural symbols, linguistic patterns, and even spiritual rituals similar to those found in ancient Indian traditions. At first, it was dismissed as coincidence, but then came the genetics. In the early 2000s, a series of groundbreaking studies revealed a peculiar genetic marker, haplogroup M, which was thought to be confined to South Asia. Shockingly, this marker was discovered in indigenous populations across the Americas, particularly among tribes in the Amazon and the American Southwest. How could this be possible? There were no known transoceanic voyages from India to the Americas in ancient times. No historical record. No boats. No maps. Just a silent echo in the blood. A whisper of an ancient voyage erased by time. The deeper scientists dug, the stranger it became. Could this hidden connection rewrite the history of human migration? It began in the blistering heat of the Thar Desert in Rajasthan, India. In 2016, a team of archaeologists excavating an ancient burial site near Balasar stumbled upon something unexpected. Skeletal remains buried in a pattern unlike anything seen in the region. These were not the typical Harappan graves. The bodies were arranged in circular formations, with ritualistic objects placed at their feet. Beads made from marine shells not native to Indian waters, and fragments of pottery bearing motifs more commonly found in South American designs. But the real shock came later, in the lab. When the team sent bone samples for DNA analysis, they were expecting to confirm regional ancestry. Instead, the results pointed to something unthinkable. Markers shared with Native American populations from thousands of miles away. At the same time, half a world away, geneticists analyzing remains from an ancient Pueblo site in New Mexico detected rare mitochondrial mutations previously seen only in South Asian populations. These findings emerged independently, with no collaboration between teams yet the genetic fingerprints were eerily similar. Two ancient burial sites, two continents, one genetic mystery. The scientific community was stunned. 
Had ancient humans crossed the oceans far earlier than we thought? Was there a forgotten migration route, perhaps through Polynesia, or even via an ancient landmass lost to time? One thing was clear. The story we'd been told was missing a chapter. As the data poured in, the scientific world divided. Skeptics dismissed the results as contamination or statistical anomalies, but a small, determined group of researchers refused to let go. Among them was Dr. Asha Verma, a genetic anthropologist from Delhi, and Dr. Michael Torres, a bioarchaeologist from Arizona. Independently, they had both stumbled upon the same genetic signature, haplogroup M and its subclades, appearing in places where it had no historical reason to exist. They joined forces in 2018, creating a multinational research initiative with one goal, to trace the movement of this elusive DNA across continents and centuries. Their approach combined ancient DNA extraction, linguistic analysis, and paleoclimatic modeling. But they were not prepared for how difficult it would be. Ancient remains degrade fast, especially in tropical and arid climates. Finding viable samples meant months, sometimes years, of fieldwork, often in politically unstable or remote regions. And even when DNA was recoverable, it had to be sequenced with extreme precision to avoid errors. Every step was scrutinized. Funding was scarce. Peer review brutal. But slowly, a pattern began to form. Genetic similarities clustered not just randomly, but along specific migration corridors, coastal routes linking Southeast Asia to Polynesia, and from there to the western shores of the Americas. What had once been considered impossible was now statistically plausible. Still, the team needed definitive proof, a single, irrefutable sample to silence the doubt. The breakthrough came from a cave in the Andaman Islands. Known for their isolation, the indigenous peoples of this archipelago had long been considered genetic time capsules, preserving some of the oldest human lineages outside Africa. In 2021, a team led by Dr. Verma obtained permission to analyze remains found in a high-altitude cave system, sheltered from humidity and miraculously preserved. One skull, estimated to be over 4,000 years old, yielded nearly complete mitochondrial DNA. When sequenced, it displayed an exact match, base for base, with a rare subclade of haplogroup M previously found in only one other population on Earth, the Zuni people of the American Southwest. This was no longer a coincidence. The genetic sequence was too precise, the lineage too distinct, and the geographic separation too vast to be explained by anything other than ancient contact. The results were published in Nature Genetics, sending shockwaves through the scientific community. The peer reviews were thorough and relentless, but none could refute the data. It was undeniable. A direct genetic connection existed between a 4,000-year-old woman from the Indian subcontinent and Native American tribes living 13,000 kilometers away. The only logical explanation, a prehistoric voyage, long forgotten, that bridged the Indian Ocean and the Pacific, linking civilizations across the water. The silence of millennia had been broken by a strand of DNA. Imagine a time before written history, when knowledge was passed through stars, winds, and waves. Picture a fleet of long wooden canoes, sleek, carved with care, setting off from the southeastern coast of ancient India. The navigators were masterful, reading the constellations, sensing ocean currents, and guided by oral maps passed through generations. They sailed east, perhaps stopping in what is now Thailand, then onto the islands of Indonesia and Papua. Each stop a test of survival, each island a possible sanctuary or a grave. But they pushed onward, through Micronesia, across the Great Pacific, 
island hopping through Polynesia in a journey that may have taken decades or even generations. Then, land, the western coast of the Americas, somewhere between present day Peru and Mexico. There, they mingled, trading, marrying, blending cultures. Over time, some groups moved inland, others northward. By the time they reached the American Southwest, their original language and customs had evolved, but the DNA endured. The Zuni, Hopi, and even some Amazonian tribes still carried echoes of that ancient crossing in their blood. Ceramics began to show patterns resembling Indian motifs. Mythologies told of ancestors who came from the rising sun, and all of it, dismissed for centuries, now found its anchor in genetic truth. This wasn't just a migration. It was a civilizational link, lost to erosion, war, and time, but now glimpsed again through the eyes of science. History, as we know it, is full of gaps, blank spaces where the voices of the past were silenced by conquest, time, or simple disbelief. But sometimes, science speaks where memory fails. Through a fragile strand of ancient DNA, a connection once lost has resurfaced, linking the ancient peoples of India and the Americas in a story too vast for textbooks, too bold for conventional history. This is more than a genetic anomaly. It's a testament to the bravery, ingenuity, and resilience of early navigators who dared to cross oceans without maps, driven by survival, curiosity, or destiny. And though no written records survive, their legacy endures in the genes of their descendants, in the pottery fragments unearthed from desert sands, and in the oral traditions once dismissed as myth. What else lies buried beneath the layers of assumed history? How many other invisible threads connect us across continents and centuries? The past is not dead. It's encoded in us, waiting to be uncovered, one discovery at a time. So the next time you hear a story that challenges everything we thought we knew, ask yourself, what if it's true? If you were fascinated by this hidden chapter of human history, don't forget to like, subscribe, and dive into our other stories. Because in the world of ancient mysteries, every answer is just the beginning of a new question.